Okay, welcome back to Dying Light. Last we left off, we said we were gonna go talk to Raheem. And I'm really fully expecting Raheem to do something stupid and actually go for the hive rather than listening to me. But before I do that, I'm actually going to check out the store and probably actually sell a couple of items. Although, let me look at this stuff. Alright. So... One of my biggest deals is that these stars starting to look a little appealing. I mean, look at this. Holy shit. 207 damage, and it's a sword with 52 durability. That's That sounds really nice, but I have to be level 12 first. But I could just buy the farmer sickle, so I don't know. Let's sell some of the things I have in my inventory, so at the very least I can just be like, oh yeah, I got that done. I need to start getting, uh, blue and green items and just, like, keeping them. Maybe I should make that a policy. I don't sell, or I don't dismantle green or blue items, because at the time, or at this time, I have a lot of metal parts. I do not need to be selling stuff too often. But, with that said, I can also be selling these. Alright. Sell all. Sell all. And sell all. There we go. Hi. I'll see you soon. Once I'm back to level 12, I'm gonna buy a fucking sword. And it's gonna be awesome. Alright, let's go talk to Raheem, who just chills out on the rooftop all day so he can get sunburns and be like, Oh look, I'm so grown up! My skin's all worn out from having cancer! Hi. Crane, Saeed told me about the explosives you guys found. How perfect is that? Jade gave them to him. Saeed used to be on a bomb squad, so he knows about that stuff. Yeah, kid. That was a lucky find. Would've been better to turn up some antis in, though. My buddy Omar is making sure Saeed's putting good timers on those things. We have to be able to get our asses out of there before they blow. Whoa, we? There, there's no we in this. I, I mean, yeah, that nest needs to go, and now it's possible, but... But if it gets done, I'm doing it on my own. But... It's my plan. And I will execute it perfectly, I promise. But... Ah, oh, shit. There's no use arguing with you, is there? Nope. Fine. I'll contact you as soon as Saeed's finished with the charges. Raheem, do we have a deal? I guess. Do we have a deal? Yes. We have a deal. Okay, one more thing. I keep seeing this bizarre kind of infected. Is Dr. Zera out at his trailer? I'd like to talk to him about it. Nah, he's down in sickbay visiting Dr. Lina. Thanks, kid. I'll see you soon. That's even better! <laughs> hey, is Dr. Zera inside of his trailer that I have to walk all the way over to? No, he's inside the building. Oh! Oh, okay, yeah, I'm fine with that. Talk to Dr. Zier about the strange effect at the school. You mean the green thing that's just like, Oh my god, it's a human! Gotta get the fuck out of here! Yeah, really want to find out about that. Unless it doesn't attack me. Eh. It might be learning. Maybe it's a smart zombie. And it just runs and encounters me like, Oh, oh shit, that's a person! Hi. Okay. <laughs> There's some weird moments in the game where, like, you don't get to interact with some of these characters for a while. I haven't talked to Lena in a while. Hey, Doc, you got a minute? Oh, it's, uh, Kane. Yes. Uh, how can I help you? A crane. Remember when I told you about that weird infect that I saw? You know, the one who took one look at me and hauled ass away? Yeah, well, I just saw another one, and it did the same thing. Hmm. I believe I have heard your colleagues talk about those creatures. Bolters, they call them. Apparently, they favor certain areas of town over others, but only appear at night. I don't suppose you could catch one and bring me a sample of its flesh. You see, a thought occurred to me. A long shot, I realize. But if these creatures favor areas where I left my experimental bait, well, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Please do obtain a sample, but it has to be fresh. So you have to get it back to me quickly. Okay, and where exactly do I find these things? I'm told that Quartermaster chap has been keeping track of them. Hmm, okay. So I talk to him, he's like, alright, I'll mark your map, boy, and I'll be like, thanks. Alright, so how close am I to survival level 12? A good bit away. We only need, like... 7,000 experience, and I'll finally have a grappling hook, and I'll be so goddamn happy. Hey, how you doing? Seems there's some survivors at the bazaar, and the witch is one of them. Witch? Guess if anyone's gonna bullshit their way to safety, it's gonna be Dahlia, right? <laughs> Did you say she's a witch? 
She says she's a witch. She claims the infected won't even touch her because of her voodoo hocus pocus. They say she walked clean across the city without getting touched at night. Maybe she knows something we don't. Yeah, maybe. Or maybe she's just completely full of shit. I like to err on the side of safety. If I can get an item that allows me to be safe at night, ooh, that'd be great. In fact, speaking of it, I was reading through some of the notes I have, which apparently I really don't have that many, because <laughs> I got through them all pretty quickly, and I... Reading through, uh, Marvin Zucker's Battle Journal reminded me about firecrackers. He says, like, oh, the fire... He says the firecrackers work even at night against the crazy volatiles, which is something I figured, you know, maybe they'd be really, really adamant about killing me, but then I guess not really, so we'll try using those if shit gets really insane at night. But for the most part, we'll worry about other things. Uh, am I talking to you? No, I'm talking to the guy on the other side of the fence. Daddy. I saw some people in this school. Got to wonder what they were doing there. Ah, uh, more people chilling out in different places. All right. Well, I gotta go outside first. And we have a ton of side missions I wanna wrap up. Unless they're gonna send me after the hive now. Zera asked me to bring him a sample from that bolter I saw in front of the school. He said they've been spotted in specific areas of the city, so I should focus my search in those places. He also said I needed to get that sample back to him while it was still fresh. So I gotta move. Or I could go for the bolter. That works too. Oh god, so many missions now. Oh, okay, she's still on the board. There's a lot to be done around the tower. I hope you find some time to take a look at the board. Ah, uh, let's see. Wanted! Crayons! The little ones are starting to get bored and the last thing we need is a... Uh, pack of kids frying or throwing tantrums. Some crayons would really help them pass the time. Jade thinks there might be some left in the school. Of course there's some left in the school. Everyone, I need a bunch of electronic parts, as many as you can find. We improved our common range in the neighborhood, but our radios are on their last legs, and I need replacement parts. In any case, please bring Toyger anything you turn up. Alright. I have oh, just so many fucking side missions, look at this shit. <laughs> you have story quest, one. Side quest, like at least ten. What can I do for you? Doc Zera says you know where I should look for these, uh, bolters. Super fast, infected, covered in big green blisters. Oh yeah, yeah. I can point you in the right direction. Here, here, and here. Though you ask me, if trouble don't come looking for you, no reason to go looking for trouble. <laughs> Words to live by, thanks. Yeah, except sometimes I don't really follow that. No items. Aww. Sneak close to a bolter during the night and get a tissue sample. How can I assist you? You just, like, completely changed your tone. <laughs> if trouble don't want to come after you, then don't worry about trouble. How can I assist you? People are counting on you to help them out. Please. Rahim's electronic parts. <laughs> don't expect the radios to work any better. The truth is, Rahim is trying to build a robot runner. He gets these crazy ideas in his head. Well, hey, at least I turned in the stuff and I can actually get more blueprints. Hold on. Electrician. Wonder what happened if you wired up a hammer or a wrench with some batteries? Let's find out. Yeah, but I don't have a wrench or a hammer. I need the Excalibur. And now we're actually about to get that bolter tissue for the Excalibur. Ooh. -hoo. I like that. Although maybe I don't really need the Excalibur. I sold it immediately, because again, there's not really a fucking point to it. <laughs> it has seven durability. So many other weapons are better than that. Come here. I've got a special deal for you. It always does, man. It's just, it just does always like that. Uh, you have the Highlander hatchet, 240. He has a... Another saber for 193, but there's a better saber up top. I'm gonna have to make sure before, like, I buy anything, I need to look at all the stores and go, Okay, who's got the best stuff? Uh, commando knife. I guess I could sell that. 68. Uh... I could sell some underwater algae for a little bit of extra money. 
Except I don't really have that much. Yeah, no, I don't like selling crafting ingredients, especially ones I actually have to find myself. The scouts have seen people entering the school. Something's going on there. Okay. I can head to the school or something eventually. One thing I want to do is clear out the area up top. <laughs> because it it killed the shit out of me. And I would like to clear them out. So the school is up here. And I kind of want to go up here. I'm just kind of seeing <laughs> if there's anything I can do along the way. But not really. God, look. All this shit spread out. <laughs> Ooh, but there's a bolter feeding ground. I can do the bolter feeding ground and then... Nah, fuck it. Alright. We're gonna make our way towards the area. Bolters! Bolters appear at night and can be found at their feeding grounds marked on the map. If you hunt for them, be extra careful. They're easy to scare, and they run very fast. Bolter feeding grounds are usually protected by volatiles. Use firecrackers to distract them. Uh, I didn't need to read the notes. It would have just fucking reminded me anyways. Oh, God. Great, you there? Hey, what's up, Spike? Just FYI, if you need me, I'll be at the ferry station helping Morgan prep the barge. Strangest thing. He said he got shaken down by some young man sounded an awful lot like you. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you? No. Hey, I, I gotta run. I'll talk to you later, Spike. <laughs> We're out of everything. We need to find more supplies. Shh. I heard something. <laughs> you better think twice, brother. Do you feel lucky? Uh... I never feel lucky, but... I do feel evil sometimes. <laughs> Here, I have a firecracker. You try to run! Look where that got you! Uh, all I wanted to do was attract some zombies to you. So that way you get attacked and mauled to death by them. But no, you gotta run away. Ugh. I like how the gear is just generally getting really good now. Like, look at this stuff. 106 damage. I guess, in the end, we are getting levels. And the gear is getting Why leveled up to fit. Just wanted to remind you to not be playing heroes in the dark, huh? Get back here or find a safe house. You've got about one hour. I have 44 lockpicks. Jesus. I do want to stay out at night, though. Uh, what do we got? Nail hatchet, 155. Can I craft anything with these? Not really. Someone said in the comments that maybe I shouldn't be crafting items unless the item matches the color of the blueprint, but I don't know if that means much of anything. <laughs> that sounds too good to be true. Or too bad to be true. Uh, but let's see. We have the bat hangover, which I think could be used on the nail hatch I just picked up. Yep. Wow! Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! That would have a hundred nine- Okay, alright, what about- what other things can I have? Yeah, no, okay, we're going to the bad hangover. Medieval throwing axe. Wait, when the hell did I get this? <laughs> That's really random. Okay, so I want to use. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Fuck that! We're, we're gonna equip my nail hatchet with the 196 damage. Wow! What's it look like? A little vicious. Yeah! And how much is his durability? 43. You know what? We can make that better. We can slap on a couple of upgrades. Uh, especially because I just have a bunch that I haven't been using. So, I might slap on Champion. And then... What else could I do? Pit Fighter, Enforcer, or Berserker. Would be pretty good. But I would like to have extra handling. Just so I could swing it faster and faster. So, Pit Fighter seems to add on to that. By a good bit. 
All right, we're going to pit fighter. Kaboosh. Now, if I have to fight any zombies, I'll kick their butts extremely hardcore. Anything in this car? There is. All right. Ooh, it got close to hitting me, man. You know, if there's one thing I'm glad doesn't really happen, it's, uh... Oh shit, that's a spinner. I didn't notice. But one problem that was in Dead Island was enemies could legitimately be over your level, and then it just became... you just couldn't damage them that much, and it was silly. It's like, oh man, I'm fighting this level 21 enemy at level 20, and holy shit, it's one-shotting me. And that was a tad bit ridiculous. Although, with that said, we still have the other problem of, like, getting super overpowered. Because now I'm just, like, killing the shit out of everybody. That's fine. That's a really minor problem. Oh, man, I kick ass! Uh What do we got? Uh, money. Thank you, cop car! I'm glad you confiscated such an extreme amount of money. Uh, we'll just pick up more of this stuff. Now, one of the feeding grounds is directly over here, so I'm wondering what I want to do. I could just go to the school. It's only 200 meters away and I still have an hour until it's nighttime, so I might as well do it. Run to the store, run to the store, run to the school, complete the mission, and then come back out. Attention! Since you cannot hear dog whistles, we are forced to communicate with you directly. You are ordered to come immediately. Ugh. Can anyone read me? This is Kristoff. I need help! I read you, Kristoff. This is Crane. Where are you? I found some survivors. They're in pretty bad shape. We're just outside the hostel. Jesus! All these fucking Christoph, missions! Tight. I'm on my way. <laughs> where is what and where? Get to the inn! I mean, I guess I'm kinda heading that way if that's the hostel. Fuck it, let's go over there. We gotta help people out. Hey, Spitter! Bye, Spitter! I'm not dealing with you. <laughs> I have things that I have to attend, like other survivors. This is Ayo speaking. Okay, maybe never mind. Good night and good luck. <laughs> it's just clean off, man. All right, let's uh, let's get myself prepared for the night. We're gonna slap on a couple of things. We need firecrackers, the UV flashlight, and flares. Except. I'm gonna craft some of the flares that are special, cause they last longer. Zade's flares. I might as well, right? I mean, I can make eight flares, or I can make eight Zade's flares, or rather, eight times five. But we're not gonna do that. We're not gonna use that many. There, ten flares, maybe fifteen. Fifteen is a pretty solid number. Um. Oh, hey, I can make two med kits at a time. Uh, that's funny. So I can make 60 med kits. I am just fully loaded. There's no way I'm really gonna die, except for really bad situations where, like, I lose control for a few seconds, or there's just way too many goddamn enemies. It can happen. Like, remember the bridge? My guy was, uh, Crane was all like, I'm gonna stop the shit out of this person. That was ridiculous. Oh, boy. Is this supermarket actually active? Because that would be kind of funny. Ah, oh, it's locked off. At least on this door, hold on. You can't just, like, have a supermarket building, have music playing next to it, and then say, nah, nothing here. Oh. <laughs> it's 
Sometimes I remember about traps. And sometimes I don't. Although that one is more of like an actual one. I like the traps that I can do. I can just activate on my own without having an ability. It's a little ridiculous that... Uh, the fence traps are locked off. The car traps are locked off. Until later. Okay. I need my flashlight. So once it becomes nighttime, we're gonna keep our distance. Right now. And once it becomes nighttime, we're gonna hope that a bolter comes in. At a reasonable speed. I'm assuming that if I hang around the area, like, directly, nothing's gonna really pop up. So we're gonna play it safe. Uh, is there anything down here that I could grab during this time? Some nails, me. Eight minutes! And I never equipped the flares, so let me do that. I'll get even closer. Unless it's on the other side of this fucking mountain. Uh-oh. Oh, there's one. Okay, good. I can see it. Just chowing down up there. Uh, I hear someone. But I don't know if I should. <laughs> I think we have humans around the other side. I'm like looking at the map going, what the fuck? Oh, shit. Hey, buddies. No! I am here to kill you! Don't run! I have a gun! Got him! Okay! Ah! Get away from me! Oh shit! All right, all right. I've learned something. First off, flare. Second off, I need this bolter. All right, farewell. Hey, Here comes your chunk of zombie guts. Oh shit! I made a bad mistake doing that. <laughs> I just figured that there wouldn't be volatiles all of a sudden when I'm trying to, uh... kill the bolter because there were looters, and that was just kind of like glitching out. But we're fine. I'm gonna go back up there, actually, and see if the looters are just kind of there all the time. This isn't good. <laughs> Maybe the nighttime is just really bad. Fuck it. We're gonna seize here. I think one of my biggest problems at night is that I can't really tell the difference between, like, runners and the souped up zombies. Because usually, like, the souped up zombies, they remind me of, like, the split jaw vampires from the Blade movies. Or some shit, right? Like, let me give an example. Okay. So, say this guy right here... ...looks super weird, right? Has a messed up looking face. Very different. Has a completely different outline and body and everything. But... The runner zombies just look like normal people who are- and they run around. So it's just very puzzling to me when at nighttime, the running zombies have like the same icons as those other dudes. And it just- it just throws me off. <laughs> I also need like better names for them. 
You have the running dudes and the 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 super zombie not running super dudes who do climb and run. To, oh god. Hello. Please don't come after me. I'm at a safe zone. <laughs> Ah, oh, Spike's not here. Damn. 